Hi everyone, this is Erica at Naya Mommy. Just coming with a quick video of some cards that I did over the weekend when I attended. Um, it's called a shoebox swap. A couple of videos ago I shared that I found a group of ladies. Um, one was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and she uh, does monthly stamp camps and you know, everyone comes over and creates cards and, you know, has a really good time. And I'm really, really excited about finding that group. Well, this week she was, a, she's attending the uh, Stampin' Up! convention in Utah. So what we did was they call it a shoebox swap. And what that means is that uh, depending on, upon the number of people that are going to participate, you are to create a card, uh, assemble it, and then have all the materials and everything in that shoe box or box container that they can put together your card. And so it was 12 ladies that participated, so when you left, you should leave with 11 um, cards. Uh, I thought it was a great idea. I thought it was a little bit overwhelming, but I did take the challenge, and I'm glad I did. Uh, and so what I'm going to show you is my uh, card that I put together for the swap, and then I'm going to show you some of the other cards that were created by the ladies. So first card is, this is my card. Let me adjust my camera. Alrighty, here we are. This is my card. Um, I used, there was, there was no... Uh, criteria. You didn't have to use Stampin' Up! products. You could use whatever you wanted to. Um, but I did use some Stampin' Up! products in my card. What I did, I basically made a uh, craft color card. And then I this paper is called uh, Island Calypso from uh, Stampin' Up! Cut it. And then I did a scallop edge circle on my Cricut and the white uh, circle as well for my Cricut. Uh, this I used a punch from Martha Stewart. It's an older punch. I've had it for a while. And then this is one of the butterfly stamps from uh, Stamps and Punch from Stampin' Up. I stamped it with Happy Birthday. Very simple card. Uh, two pearls in the middle. Um, really quick to make. Um, very easy. And um, everybody seemed to like it. Thought it was a, a really nice card. So that was my contribution to the uh, card shoebox swap. Uh, this one was one of my favorites. Um, the young lady, her name is Angie. She made this uh, really, really nice. I love the colors. Uh, and also something that she did that I, I'm going to get into because I really like it was she stamps the envelope. So she puts a little something from the card on the actual envelope. So I thought it was really, really cute. But anyway, and then she used a stamp. I'm going to take it out the plastic. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. Very simple card. Use a punch. Uh, this blue and uh, khaki I really, really like. Uh, stamp. This is an actual punch from Stampin' Up. Ink the edges and a stamp. Very simple card. I loved it. This next card, uh, when the young lady brought it out, we were like, ooh, because we just really were trying to figure out how uh, she put that all together. Uh, but once she showed us, really, really neat. Um, many of these, I'm going to recreate uh, cards from things in my own stash. But this card right here was very um, easy and simple. I'm going to actually, uh, one day later, do a video of how she did it. Um, it's actually a black card, and there are one, two, three, four, five uh, layered pieces, alternating colors in uh, white and black, and uh, very, you know, very simple to make. Looks overwhelming when you look at it at first, but very easy to make. Uh, we have a lady in the group who is, uh, she's the risk taker, the daredevil, and uh, when we saw this card, all of us were immediately like, you have got to be kidding. So uh, this card, as you see, it looks like an envelope. Um, this is some pink paper. She had all different colors, pink, yellow, blue, green, uh, that you could choose from. I, I just happened to choose pink. And um, what you do is, you, it's a 12 by 12 sheets of paper that's folded a certain way and scored. She didn't give us the um, directions because she was actually out of town preparing to go to the conference. But she is going to actually show us how to uh, score this piece of paper to put this together. But the neat thing about it is it looks like an envelope. But when you open it up from here, this is the actual inside. So you could write your message or whatever here. And um, she did this. And if you can see, I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. Um, this uh, double stamping where she like rocks it on the um, ink pad. We were all... Uh, super, super 
uh, irritated by that. But uh, if you can do it, it's a neat trick. I wasn't able. I tried several, several times to get it. So finally, I just uh, figured out. I'm a kind of person. I figured out if, if there is a uh, way to do something, there's a simpler way. And so what we did was we inked it with the yellow. And then we colored the edges on the stamp uh, with some markers, the outlining colored markers, and then we stamped it. So that one was neat. Here's another one. Uh, it was an easel card. I wasn't too fond of the colors, but the card design I thought was cute. Um, you know, and it was one of those things where I liked this paper, but not necessarily what was down here. But the whole design of the card I thought um, was neat and I really, really liked. So this is a simple easel card. We put it all together. This here I found out was is a Tim Holtz die. Um, and it comes with these little perforated edges. Then you fold them back and then you twist it to make this um, fan circle. I didn't think it was easy. Uh, took a minute. Uh, looks cute, but took a minute. And, you know, I'm one of those people that I'm, I'm, I'm a, I believe it has to be an easier way. So uh, that was that was this card. Now, those are the cards that, uh, to me, it appeared that, you know, when you do things, you always have uh, those that go above, and then you always have those that I, I believe I call those the, the just enough. And so there were a couple of cards where people just, um, there were kits that they purchased from Stampin' Up, and it was pretty much all you did was add a ribbon and some bling and a stamp. So um, you got, you know, you know, you always have those. I mean, a cute card, but... Uh, when I look at the effort that was put into some of the other cards, you know, I was a little disappointed, but oh well, you never know what's going on. Um, this is one of the last cards, um, the young lady made this and it surprised me because, you know, she was, when we meet, you know, she's always the one that's saying, I can't do it, I'm not creative, I don't have any ideas, and we were all like, wow by her card so I can't wait until she was actually wasn't there either this time because she had a, a commitment but I was really impressed by her card and I can't wait till I see her so I can say Miss Deborah your card was awesome we really really liked it and what she did on the inside she put a little um, framelit on the inside so you can write your message um, embossed the outside and then did the coordinating <clears throat> excuse me coordinating colors with the frames and then this punch here so I just wanted to take time to share the cards um, that uh, was made during my stamp camp and um, to show that uh, I am working not always making videos but I am working so just wanted to say everybody hi and uh, as always, comments are welcome. Have a wonderful rest of the day.